and welcome to TFYLP Microcasters. Uh, so yeah, we got the regular crew tonight, uh, myself, Lucas, and I've got Christian and Anna. Woo, what's up? Hello. Hey. I guess I should have asked Sean. I, I kind of forgot to ask him if he wanted to be on the show today, so. Just oh, make well. sure to tell him you forgot he existed, because that's what friends <laughs> do. No, well, I was actually been talking to him because I was trying to talk him into going to TFCon, uh, but he cannot take the time off of work. So, because I was like, hey, like, you know, just stow away in our car. And uh, I was going to say, how are we going to fit him? We've already got like three people and a million things. Uh, well, and all those all... million things are being bought by me. Right, 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 right. E- each so. of them, all, every single one. I'm I'm excited to bring that up. No, I was trying to talk to him and I was like, hey, we uh, Richard's gonna be going too. So I was like, you can uh, carpool. There's another another guy that we know that's gonna be driving uh, uh, the 16 that's hours crazy. or whatever. Yeah, I know it's a little bit crazy that we're going on this like crazy road trip. I'm very um, happy that you are because I'll get to see you, but. I'm driving. Yeah, like but by the time we get hours. there, Lucas and I are gonna hate each other so much that it'll just be like we'll try to get together for like a microcasters reunion and we'll just straight up brawl. No, like, that's great. actually not. But true. there will be birthday cake when you arrive. That is true. Yeah, wow. I'm gonna be so so tired of Lucas. I'm just gonna throw it at him. <laughs> No, the truth is, is you know, Aaron, uh, so the other guy that we're going with is gonna get so upset at us, like, so he doesn't, he doesn't know what us, we agree we're, to. We're probably gonna talk for like at least the first five hours straight, knowing the two of us, and Aaron's gonna get so agitated. No, he'll be fine. I, I think he won't really care uh, about that. So I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what stories we end up having coming out of this because you know i don't know I, I always wonder the stories that other people are telling about me you know from from there you're like oh you wouldn't believe what lucas did so well i will be sure to be the Good one telling those stories this year yeah so yeah i'm i'm totally fine i guess we can do a uh tfyp afterwards and uh you know we can you know tell some stories about you know, whatever embarrassing thing I did at the show, because I'm sure I'll Ooh. figure out a way to do something. We know that casting in the car is totally good, right? So we'll just do that. <laughs> <laughs> there, right you there. Go. there you go. Yeah, how much data Sean can I special. burn through with, uh, classy. with doing that? So, yeah. Yeah, my... Uh, um, my family's going on a trip right before this week too. So I'm sure that like the amount of data that we're going to burn through this week, is like, ah, I, I mean, you need to sign up for an unlimited plan just for this month and then, you know, go back to a regular plan. Yes. So as so, you can tell, we're all very excited about going to this show. We are. Yeah. We are. And honestly, my primary reason is to meet the rest of the TFYLP cast. Cause I mean, I know Lucas and, I pretend I know Sean. So I'm, I'm like two out of the like 50 of us, but I got to meet the rest. So it'll be fun. Well, like, you know me, you just never seen me. <laughs> I know, but it's, it's so much, I don't know. It's just like a different thing it when you meet someone thing. in person. Like I've known you for like a year now, but and we've been coworkers on this show. <laughs> coworkers. It was a good joke. And I imagine how different your life would be if you had never, like, met Sean and I at TFCon 2016. I know. If only I hadn't moved to Kansas, because then I would have never been like, oh, you're from Kansas? Let's be friends. I would just like to, like, okay, we talk a little bit, I leave forever. And I would have been so much, my life would have been so much better. I would have had so many fewer toys. <laughs> I was going to say, just think how much money you would have saved, like how much extra money you'd have in the bank. Oh my goodness, my collection has probably grown like by, you know, hundreds of percents since then. So, yeah. <sighs> anyway, well, let's talk about fun. happy things. Oh, oh, uh, so. <laughs> so yeah. we're not talking about this toy tonight, right? We are, we are not talking about Prowl, but we're talking about like 15 different versions of Prowl. Is that accurate? All of Prowl's bros. Like this one. 
I, I will <laughs> say, though, you know, getting in, like, three more versions of this mold made me appreciate Prowl more. How about that? Why four? I said three more. No, no, why? Why? I mean, oh, why, why four? Yeah. Oh, oh, why, why? Um, <laughs> just the variation in the colors. Um, okay. You know, just kind of, I, I don't know. Like, I've, I enjoyed Prowl. Okay, so when, when they first showed Prowl off, I, I thought it was kind of boring. Like, I, I wanted more variation in the color. And I still feel that, like, the headlights, I, I wish that they would have done more uh, with Prowl's headlights. But otherwise, like, I think it's actually a, a really cool mold. And I actually like what they did with Prowl. And seeing him next to the other cars, like, I kind of appreciate the choices that they made. Yeah, Prowl was good. I mean, he was a Prowl when we first got him. You know, yay, it's Prowl. We've seen him a million times before. But having gotten all the repaints, uh, I think he is probably the second best of the Datsuns. Mm. Think so? I don't know. I mean, pre, I know we're going to come out in, in in this uh, this show that uh, there's a certain Datsun that you do not like. So we'll... Uh, we got a preview of that on Ouch last week, but uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's it's so we'll talk about it. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. That'll be so, fun. yeah. <clears throat> Where should we start then? Who came uh, first? Barricade. I think Blue Streak was the one that, or was it Barricade? Which one came first? I did got Barricade one. first. All yeah, of these came out together. Barricade. All of these came out for all, for us at least. We got all three of them within like a week, maybe eight days of each other. It was kind of crazy. Yeah, so that's a really interesting release schedule because, like, I don't know. I've kind of always felt like when you're doing repaints, like a lot of repaints of the same mold, like if you release them every few months, then it's kind of like what what was old is new again because it's like, oh, I haven't played with that in a while. It's new. But instead, it was just like, here are three versions of this mold right on top of each other. Get and bored with it. Is that they're dare you. technically kind of sort of part of three different lines. <laughs> One's a yeah, Siege, that is one true. is Selects, and one is the 35th anniversary. That is true. That is true. So they are kind of separate. And yet, they all arrived kind of at the same time. It was weird. Yeah. So I guess we talk about Barricade first. Let's talk so, about Barricade first. So the one thing I think is interesting about Barricade is is that, you know, we talked about the fact that Prowl had, like, zero battle damage on him, right? And yep. I, it's the same with two of the guys, but then Barricade is, like, the one uh, the one version of this mold, and I'll, I'll show it off for you, Christian, um, that, that this is the one version of the mold that he has battle damage on his uh, on the front of the car. And that is the only yep. one. So I think that was an interesting choice that Big they decided old to go with him. Yep. Interesting thing about how he got those scuffs, too. Like, how do you get those without any other damage? By ramming people. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> <clears throat> but only at an angle. Well, True. so, I mean, that's kind of like a police move, though, is... Uh, to go in, like, when you're trying to get uh, in a high-speed chase to try to spin somebody out, like, you bump oh, them, right. like, with that front corner to, to get them to spin out. So maybe maybe that's what he's been doing. You never know. Barricade's tricky. Sure enough. So, first things first, alt mode, right? So Lucas has his in alt mode, and it has the evil police car deco to it. Yep, with some really... Dope purple translucent wheels. Yeah, the purple, the purple so like cool. on the top is really cool. The purple on the wheels is really neat too. Yeah, this is just the purple looks really good. And the so I guess this is like Cybertronian on the sides of the car is what they're going for. Yes. I'm sure it says something if you put in the effort to reading it. Sure. We're definitely the types to do that, as you can tell. So when they announced the barricade that they were going to be making this in Siege, have have you guys been like excited on board the entire time, or were you like, oh, this is dumb, like super on board, very on board? 
Yeah. I, I think I was too. Um, and honestly, I wouldn't. I'm trying to think are there any other movie characters that you would like to see done Blackout. in like Siege? What's that? Blackout. Blackout. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. Sideways. Side swipe, I guess. The Wreckers. Yes. The answer is yes. Yeah, it'd be fun. I think it would totally be fun to make more of them. But, but yeah, this is the same. Uh, let's see. There's no... The, the back doesn't have any paint on it. Which I think is the same... No. I guess, uh, what you call it? Blue Streak is the only one that it has um, the back painted. But. So this yeah. barricade brings up an interesting <laughs> naming question. Within War for Cybertron, are we going to get two distinct characters named Barricade? Because they've got to release the G1 Micromaster Barricade, too, to complete the racetrack patrol. Well, they don't have to. They have to. <laughs> they I think must. they would change his name a little. Maybe. That's what I think will happen, but who knows? This one's definitely more recognizable as Barricade these days. Maybe creativity will happen. Right. So, yeah, this is exactly like Prowl. It's a it's a functional car. Um, I honestly think that this mold pulls off car better than Sideswipe does. Like, it just feels more like a car to me for some reason. Like, it's yeah. it's still Cybertronian, but it feels more like if you did see this driving down the road in a realistic form, like, you wouldn't panic and think we were being invaded by some sort of aliens or something. You would just think that it was an interesting-looking car. So <laughs> I honestly think it's one of the better-looking alt modes in Siege. Um, and this makes him one of the few Decepticons in Siege to actually get a good alt mode <laughs> 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 by being an Autobot repaint. Is that two? Two that got good alt modes? Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not good numbers so far. So here's the thing I think it's funny is, is so everyone is complaining about the fact that you're like, oh, they're just going back to G1 well, like with all this stuff, right? And then we get like new alt modes or whatever for these uh, characters or whatever, and everyone thinks they're garbage. And they are garbage, but... Okay, like, <laughs> seriously, if Soundwave was a robotic ostrich... And it looks like a good robotic ostrich. I would be all about it. That would be great. Ostrich sound wave, perfect. But weird block with little thin blocks on it. I just didn't do it for me. Robotic still, ostrich, though, I'm on board. Still a good concept, like dropship sound wave. It doesn't <clears throat> look like anything in the toy. Yeah. 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 Maybe we do something cool I, with it in the show. Maybe that maybe that will justify it. I joked with these guys earlier in the week that we should just devote this week to Anna complaining about um, the Soundwave mold because I actually transformed it over the last week. I realized just how bad that alt mode actually is, and um, yeah, I did not complain about it enough last week. So here you go. This is your bonus <laughs> complaint. There you go. But this, this is pretty. This, this barricade. Like, I like the car mode a lot. I think it's really good. <laughs> I will probably actually display it in car mode sometimes. Like right now, it's a robot because I wanted to have him having his pistols. But I don't know why well, I did it like that. I think in general too. Like um, this is just a really fun desk spot, like to flip back and forth to. It's, yeah. Um, it's a fun transformation. It, it's you know, pretty easy, but at the same time, it's, it's interesting. Like I like what they did with the transformation where they took the hood of the car and were able to, you know, kind of put it in the back of, uh, of the chest. Like I thought that was interesting. Yeah. It, it no, it's really a well. fun transformation. Yeah. And it, it works really well and you get a pretty clean figure out of it. Like it's, it's not as, um, it's not beautiful from the sides, and it's definitely not beautiful from the back, but it's definitely not to the, um, to the new Bumblebee level of front only. 
It's yeah. definitely if you pose it dramatically from a somewhat, you know, angled view, it um it still looks good. The the thing I think it's kind of funny about these molds is is that um so both Barricade and Prowl uh, both don't come with all the weapons because they come with a light bar. And so that kind of like yeah. takes up one of the, the slots. And so um, Barricade comes with these like little shoulder guns, um, which I think is really cool. And, and I wish Prowl had it. But then I saw online there's other people that are annoyed that Barricade doesn't have a gun. Um, so, you know, it's kind of like, oh, all of these are kind of missing something. I'm one of those people. So I saw this on Facebook. I didn't come up with this idea, but I took a blowpipe and an aimless and I switched their parts around and now I've got a frenzy target master. He's all gray. It's well, fun. Bear Kid's I, got his little buddy. I think uh, I think the little target masters, because um, there's uh, three target masters that came with, um, uh, with what's his name? Uh, the Seeker. Skywarp. Uh, with Skywarp, yeah. So it's like, um, you know, just take one of those. Well, That's one of them belongs option. to Spinister, one of them belongs to Scourge, and then the other one's a Pterodactyl. So there you go. Um, so the one thing I'll say about the new versions of these molds, like, so the Prowl figure, um, is one of your legs a little bit loose on Prowl? Or are oh. you... Are yours tight? No, my bra is sturdy. Because one of my legs is just a little bit loose. I'm proud. Uh, my the my barricade legs. has a loose leg. Oh, well, there you go. So, don't you love the randomness of the Hasbro QC? I think my video is forever frozen. On the um, the Facebook stream. Uh, yeah, yeah, you are frozen. Yep. Okay. Your frozen. My voice still come through. through. Yeah, your voice is still coming through. All <laughs> well, then. It's a little odd. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, um, while Lucas is trying to fix that, I will continue to talk about I, the story. I don't, I don't know if I can fix it, Anna. Yeah, I don't know if you can fix it either. I think it might just be making yeah, a kind of creepy half smile for the rest of this entire stream. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, so who, well. Who's next? So oh, I think that we should this compare. Oh, Anna's not done. Sorry, oh, Lucas, I'm not done. I'm sorry. This is the only figure I have. I'm not going to talk about the other ones. I'm just going to be like... I can't tell eh. you... So, Anna, I can't tell if you're done or not, considering that you, like, weren't moving. Oh, you're moving again. Am I? Great. Because I'm going to hold up this toy. <laughs> so, one thing I wanted to mention about it is, funny enough, that because of the way these figures came out, he was the first character to get Smokescreen's face. Yeah. You got it before Smokescreen did, which is um, fantastic. Um, and it, it's fun because this is the first time he's had a, like, humanoid, you know, face. Like a regular Transformers face, right? Because he had those gross movie faces. And now he has a <clears throat> normal-ish person face. And it's just a very angry Smokescreen face painting gold. It honestly works really well. I like it. It's a good, um, it's a good mean villain cop face to me. I don't know. It kind of throws me off a little bit. I I love hearing people complain about it because I like it. I think it's cool. It, it's weird. It like looks like the like dark uh, smoke screen or something. So uh, I like I'm gonna it. go ahead and talk about smoke screen next, uh, since go we're for it. since we're talking about that stuff. Okay, so first off, I want to show off like the absolute best version of smoke screen is his alt mode, and if you're gonna pick one to just keep in alt mode, it's definitely smoke screen because like it has a ton of paint in alt mode. Um, it looks really good, like just the way that they did the paint apps. I really like this alt mode um, a lot more than um, the. I mean, the Combiner Wars actually, 
It, it's you know it's pretty nice too. Very good. I guess the one thing I guess I will say about the Combiner Wars one was is the the red is a lot uh, brighter. Like the, the blue is the, too. Yeah, yeah, and the blue is it's all brighter. Too. Yeah, like this is a very subdued smoke screen. But I still like it. That like is I, why I don't like it. Yeah. I don't know. It almost reminds you of the uh, was it uh, Cyber um, Cybertron smokescreen? Was that like or Energon? Which one was the one that really released in that uh, Unicron trilogy? Came out Cybertron. It's my favorite figures actually. Cybertron. Yeah, but that but this looks the colors on this is similar to that. Similar, but the layout is different, and that was also trying to be rad at the same time as it was trying to be smokescreen. So. They got a pass. Yeah. I guess even know who Rad is. Rad's an action master. And, and this is the version of the mold that came out as the select, right? Is that correct? Yes. Okay, great. <clears throat> so, yeah, I, I owned this for about 10 seconds and sold it to someone before I even opened it. Why was that? Is it because you forgot to cancel your order? <laughs> Yes. Yes. When I um when I was trying to pre-order the MP Plus, I accidentally pre-ordered this one, and I didn't <laughs> even realize I had it. So, because I think in my frenzy to get it, I just pre-ordered everything named Smokescreen, which was just those two figures, luckily. But okay, I instantly found more. someone who was interested in taking it, so it's all good. So, so I'm uh, technically a one per mold person. Can't forget one, that. One thing that I will that I am super annoyed by is is the um, the Hasbro Pulse like ordering system is is absolutely horrible. Like actually ordering the figure itself, I think is good. Like I think it's an upgrade from you know what uh, the Hasbro store used to be. Um, but actual like tracking your orders is garbage. And so yeah, they actually I found something out that um, they actually only do 10 pages of orders. And I realize this probably isn't a problem that most people have, right? Like, this is, you know, crazy person. But um, so I have, I've now gotten to 10 pages of orders. Everything past that 10th page, I can't see anymore. So I actually uh, had a figure that I ordered and I wanted to cancel, but I couldn't actually get to that order because of the way that they're, their systems going so I, i'm well, sure it doesn't help that every time you make an order they cancel it and make a new order yes like if you you're saying if you do a combined order or... even if you if you order one thing they will cancel it and it will be that same order number dash a or if you order a bunch of things it'll be oh, yeah. a b c d e and f yeah it's like that doesn't i ordered a bunch of things <laughs> So that, you know, it'll blow up one order into a page and a half orders, which pushes well, your that's stuff. That's because they all have to come in separate boxes. They all have to come in separate boxes. I yeah. figured it's a box. It's it's happier that way. It's, yeah, I don't know. The, so hopefully they can get, like, that stuff figured out just because the logistics of, of Hasbro Pulse right now is just kind of nuts. We've heard from our friend Paul that it's something to do with Shopify, which is what they're using. Oh, well, there we are. Yeah, so viewers should be able to see Smokescreen now in two it's different screen. cameras. Oops. And he like, looks to be like fine. Said, he's, he's fine. I'm overly critical <clears throat> because Smokescreen's one of my favorite characters. Ah. And these colors are just too subdued. And I don't like it. Okay, that's fair. So you're saying, like, if you had... Oops. I keep knocking my smoke screen over. Um, here, I'm putting up the uh, smoke screen compared to the Combiner Wars smoke screen. Yeah. And uh, so, I mean, you can see, like, with that, that the colors, like, the Combiner Wars are, is a lot more blue. Um, there's really not much of, uh, black at all other than, like, the, the waist piece. Yeah. Um, on Combiner Wars, but then on the uh, Siege figure, I mean, it's just like a sea of black. 
well, I don't I don't even mind the black as long as it was contrasted with brighter blue and bright, brighter red. The white is correct. The yellow here on his uh, crest is correct. Everything else is kind of weird. So, and, and again, like, I'm not the kind of person to, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of logistics with making these molds and, you know, planning it out and whatever to where they probably couldn't do this. But, like, it, it would have been nice if they would have been able to make his thighs white. Or silver, or something like that, to break up all this black. Just see the um, back of his calves are silver. Huh. Yeah, it's painted yeah. silver. I think it's because this this window bit is silver on the oh, inside right. of the clear. But it's just I, I had it facing towards the camera, and I was like, wait a minute, why are the backs of his legs painted? That's a lot of paint. So yeah, so that would be my. My complaint is, is that I th- if they would have had his thighs or waist or something like that in a different color, just to, bl- uh, to uh, break up all the black, just because like I don't really feel like of smokescreen as that uh, color, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I see what you're saying, but the, to me, it's such a move up in molds. Like, I just like this mold so much better. That I'm, it's definitely I'm a better fine mold. With it. I think the best classics one as far as colors we have so far is the NK one. But it's slavishly G1 cartoon accurate, so. Right. I, I don't know. Like I I actually really like the Combiner Words mold a lot. Me too. Like the only the only uh, say thing I would say is is this obviously has a lot more articulation. It has yes. angle tilt and all that type of thing. So from that standpoint, I, I like it more, uh, but I still really like, you know, the, like this classics mold, the, you know, this, I mean, here's the prowl. Like, I think this is a really good figure. And I really the, like that know, combined with prowl a lot. Yeah, no, this is definitely one of the better ones. Like the paint on it's really good too. And, and like this one, the combiner wars, they did the paint here. If they would have done that paint, on the siege figure, I would have been so happy, but you know, what can you do? Yeah. So. Complain about it endlessly. That's about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, so you know I started to have this conspiracy theory with Hasbro, right? And I feel like that every figure has to have some kind something like one thing so that it can never be absolutely a hundred percent perfect. So then that way that we will buy it again. And I think that this this was just um, that impactor, the Amazon pack impactor, really kind of personified that because it's 100% perfect. It is an amazing figure. I mean, other than the, the gaps or whatever in the, the thighs. Um, but then they threw a Decepticon symbol on him. And you're like, no, that's not an impactor. So. It's a reimagining, quote unquote. Right. Maybe it'll be a con on the show for some reason. That could be true. So, on uh, our chat, Randall mentioned that he's chosen to keep um, Universe 2.0, and I noticed that that's um, one of the ones you guys haven't put out as a comparison, and I, I of course, don't have it because I got rid of mine. Oh. What oh, do you guys wait, think of the comparison we, between that? Are we talking I about moved, this thing? I moved. Sorry. I'll grab them. Here. Are we oh, talking about this one? I just got one out. Uh, this one? It'll appear in a moment for us, Christian. Oh, I saw him sorry, do it. Chris, the, are you, this the, one? The, yeah, the Hinke yes, smoke that one. is the one I mentioned earlier. I have him yes. somewhere. That's okay, that's okay. We have a version of it. So what do you guys think of this mold compared to that one? Like, do you think for a for a one-mold type person like myself, is this a replacement? An upgrade. Ooh, upgrade is a better word. So, okay, so <laughs> I, I personally don't like this mold, so... I'm probably the one weirdo that doesn't that doesn't like the universe 2.0 or whatever like um, you know Dotsons, but I, I don't know. I just never really liked the way that this turned out, and this is true of a lot of those universe like the the line that was like after classics and whatnot, like the uh, universe 2.0 in general. Like I just don't really like a lot of the proportions. Like I don't like the wheel jack. I don't like um the i mean the sun is okay mm-hmm. um and so i the um side swipe i don't really like i mean like i don't know like for for me it's just 
I don't like the proportions as much of those figures. And God, Christian. <laughs> oh, my God. You're just this giving me too- this look. This is amazing. Ooh. This is too much fun to watch this reaction. My, my goal Guys, of every show is me. to... to kill Christian just to have him give me that look. First off, Wheeljack wasn't even in that line. He was in Generations. Well, whatever. Generations, Universe, like, I throw it all together. Chug. Second, how could you not like the Lambos? They're the best. They're we have not had a better Lambo mold since. Those guys are amazing. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. We just got one in Siege. Where's that at? Here. It's not better. It's good. It's not better. This is better. This is better. No. No. I just looked at my old sunstreaker like two days ago in my garage, and he has not aged as well as I thought he would. Because I remember that mold being just fantastic. Like, I remember thinking about how cool it was and loving it. And now I look back at it, I'm like, ugh. Don't do that (laughs) because you're wrong. (laughs) (laughs) Also, well, that I, was Jack, you mentioned how I don't like the new punch counter punch we got, right? Like, I, I think we've talked about that a little. I don't think we talked about it on the show or anything, but... No, we've talked about it elsewhere, but yeah. Right. I, I mentioned it before. I don't like it. I think that it doesn't look very good. I... Various reasons. I don't want to get into it. So I was thinking about getting the older one, even though it's a little bit expensive to get the... Was it a subscription figure or a bot con? I can't remember. It's just a club figure. It was a club figure. Okay. So um, I was thinking about getting it. But then when I looked at pictures of it, I was like, oh, no. I don't like that mold anymore. So it's not any better to me. It was a bar. <laughs> as far as the Siege Datsun being better than Universe Datsun, the doors are better, for sure. The, the Universe Datsun has door problems and if you got the hasbro prowl i'm sorry your paint on the doors is fading now and falling off and gooping up it's gross i apologize but if you got some of the better decos like again hinkay smokescreen uh, i would not replace that one with this one i, I just, have both because i'm crazy but i could not get into that next stack the like slightly raised neck on the little platform yeah I just That's don't like the that looks when it happens on figures. I don't know. And, like, I mean, this this universe figure, I mean, it, like, look at all the, like, hollow and, you know, whatever. I I don't know. It's it's fine. I just, I personally am not a huge fan of it. I think you're barking so, up the wrong tree there. This thing is crazy hollow from the side and back. Yeah. I would That's replace true, I guess that so. blue streak with this blue streak. Yeah. Maybe not the Hinkay one, but the Hasbro one, I definitely would. Which we haven't got to yet. Talk about Blue Streak. This is the best of the Siege Datsuns. No question. Hands down. Good night. This is the best one. It looks pretty. It is pretty. Yeah. He's got taillights. No one else has taillights. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no, I mean he's got he's got painted wheels, his you know painted headlights. This is the what thirty fifth anniversary exclusive figure. to Walmart. Yep. Yeah. And and this is one thing I know. Um, so, somebody else did a, a video about um, you know like oh our uh, is Hasbro charging too much now for Transformers like. You know, what what we get for the price and all that's like, not worth it anymore. And I'm like, no, I do not want that message to get back to Hasbro that their shit's too expensive. Because then, like, they're going to start cheaping out again and giving us, like, the Cyberverse figures and whatnot. And, like, like I, they're finally starting to put paint on these things. Um, There's so much paint on this figure. Yeah. I like what we're getting. I think it's great. So whatever. Yeah, I'm good with twenty dollars deluxes. I, I missed ten dollars deluxes, and I missed that time really? that deluxes were seven dollars during movie years. That was great. These are also great and worth it. Well, they're I, both transforming their figures. I'll remind you that this figure is well articulated. Look at its ankles. Wow. 
Boom, done. <laughs> it's Blue Streak. Yeah, that's nice looking. Yep, his color layout is fantastic. Uh, it really just nails the look of the character. He's got paint in all the right places to make him look great. I love him. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't come with a light bar, but he comes with the rifle and the shoulder guns, which I have combined into the dual gun. Yeah. He's not a fleet's car, so he doesn't need to have the um, light bar. So I just realized, uh, looking at my blue streak, that my face, and I don't know if this is going to show up on camera, has a little bit, they accidentally got some red on his face, which Aww. is a little, a little annoying. Probably a bummer. Rust. Rust. But, but then again, um, it's technically, this one isn't being released as a premium figure or anything, right? It's just a Walmart toy. Right. Walmart exclusive. Yeah, yes. I don't know. I mean, all of the Walmart ones have kind of premium paint on it because they have those like cell shaded Optimus and Megatron. And, yeah. I mean, those those have a ton of paint on them. So. I'll say the the sound wave looks like or the new sound wave looks like an attempt at premium. I don't think it really pulled it off, but I think it looks like an attempt at it, and it has beautiful bright orange on it, so I love it. But. This is this is an attempt, and this was like good. Like this, I think they, that they, pull, really they good. pulled this off. Like this is an amazing. I don't know. Like if every if every figure was painted as well as this one, I mean, my God. I think when Siege is over, a fun thing for us to do would be to go back and try to find like objectively, which is super hard to do when we're toy nerds. But try to find objectively what the best version of every mold is. Because it's funny. Because I don't think it's going to be the Selects version for most of them. Because it feels like, you know, Selects to me says premium. But I think Selects is really turning into more obscure than premium. And I feel like maybe in the case of the Power Dashers. Um, yeah, maybe in the Power case Dashers of the, win for me. Red Wing would win for me. Yeah. I, so this yeah, is I, I, I feel like Selex is is they came out with a bunch of exclusives. They tried to right. sell these exclusives to the stores, and the ones that the stores wouldn't buy are the ones they're releasing through Selex. They put in cardboard boxes and send them to diehard fans straight from Hasbro. Right. I think it's I think it's still part of their attempt to get their own subscription going that's why they're in those cardboard boxes they're in you know mailer boxes right yeah they just know that nerds would get mad if they slapped a shipping label on that and just sent it out even though they definitely could and i've used those to ship things they're very sturdy yeah that, yeah, that, that well. would be so funny if they started doing that it would be so yeah. mad. i think they should people I people would be so it. mad because like a lot of, uh, you know, so Amazon now is like shipping stuff out. I don't know if you guys, any of these, where the bubble mailers that they're using, like they're just throwing stuff in there now. So you'll, you know, luck of the draw, just depending on which figure it is, you may get it in a, in a smushed bubble mailer instead of a regular box. Yeah, who cares if the shipper boxes for the slugs get messed up because they don't have anything on them. Right. Which is right. proud core cardboard boxes. Which is probably why they designed them that way. Anyway, yes, please make a subscription, Hasbro, if you're listening. Yes, I, I would 100% go for that. So, But at the same yeah. time, we've gotten so many figures, you know, that I, I don't know that I'm, like, missing a subscription service. Not a lot. But, yeah. Well, yeah, they would have been, like, you know, a six, two six-month ones for the year. We would have gotten, uh, let's see, what order they come out? Megatron, Red Wing, and then, like, Nightbird, Smokescreen, and somebody, and then the Power Dashers, Galactic Man. I think I'm just missing a couple. Oh, uh, Nightbird's say. probably the better version of that mold, I would yeah. say. So that's one point for Select Squirrel. But yeah, no, I, I would agree with you, Anna, and I think that we should do, uh, once wave five comes out and we get done reviewing all of siege we can uh yeah we can do a show with our, our i guess our favorite of each mold that may take a, a while to do but 
We just yeah, I think it would be fun though. Or we'll do we a could, very special episode. Maybe we could split it up or something too. During the lull between lines. Yeah. 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 Okay, so, about eight weeks to cover. So, sometime in like January or something, right? When we're in in Kansas and wishing that we could see the sun or something. You guys will. During that time, you guys will have to let me talk about Calculation King finally. Like six months after it came out. No. Just get the repaint. Yeah, just get the repaint. I, if it means I can talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> It's a low price of admission. That's like the best toy I've gotten in like the last year, and I can't talk about it because it's just not cool enough. It's not the best toy you've gotten. It is the well, best hijack. toy I've gotten. It's awesome. Hijack one of the other shows and talk about it. Yeah, you, could, you should no, do. You that's should what do like they come, told me just come too. Out to open, open the box or out. No, no, no. Yeah. When I yeah. told Rob I wanted to talk about it, I was like, he was like, uh, talk about a microcasters. <laughs> Hey, we had to cover yes. Rob's show last week, so he owes us one. The week before, you can talk about it on Ouch. I, I've been I've been the host for two straight weeks, so there you go. But I told him I couldn't know. do I couldn't do this week because I have uh, parent teacher conferences. But um, okay, so uh, for this uh, mold here, who are we recommending of the three figures that we uh, that Street. we did? So Blue Street, Blue, probably uh-huh. barricade. So, you know, one thing I didn't talk about um, with Barricade, too, is is do we talk about this purple on the chest, the, like the lavender purple? No. Like, um, that's, that came out really nice, too. Although, no. I wish there was a little more color breakup with, like, his, you know, underneath, but whatever. It's still cool. So, so we're ranking them. Uh, uh, the official... Microcaster's ranking is Blue Streak number one, Barricade number two, and Smokescreen number three. Is that what we're saying? Yes, unless you want to put Prowl in there. I'd put Prowl at three. I think I put Prowl at two. So yeah. he and Barricade are really close. They oh, are. They're, they're best friends. See? Oh. I might put Prowl as, as number two two as well just because i like the head sculpt like i think they did a really good one for him head sculpt is very good yeah so but it's not like barricade is bad he just because he's in the lower percent, like he's right like blue streak is really good and then like prowl and barricade are both very good together and then smoke screen is not very good that's that's the ranking for me my ranking is that if you like Transformers figures and you collect them, you should have a version of this mold at least. Um, if you're a completionist, get them all, whatevs. You won't be sad because it's not bad. But I would say that, you know, getting one version of it, whichever character you like best or whichever paint job you like best or whatever, just get it because it's a really fun mold. It's got good articulation. It transforms well. It's fun to play with. Don't look at it from the back because no one does that anyway. Um, it's really cool. I think if you really are just going to get one, probably get Barricade, since he's the most unique of all of them. He's a weird thing. So here's here's my question is, is so we reviewed this the New Age mold as well, right? And yeah. you could only have, like, either the New Age, one of the New Age mold, or one of these. Like, the, you only had $20 and, you know, whatever for Transformer. Which one would you pick? Why would you ask me? You know my answer. I hate that new age mold. And I don't collect legends, so ask your own self that question. Yeah, no, I think I think I like these more. So I just again like the size of these better than legends personally. The new age mold is a excellent transformer. It has a really great alt mode. The robot mode is uh, kind of good. In its own ways, as long as you like the style they went for, and I don't like the style they went for, I will say probably, being for your buck, you probably are better with the New Age mold as long as you like how it looks. However, I don't. So, I have this instead. 
There we go. And I'm not keeping the prowl, but he's here for now. Saying hello to everyone. Who, who are you selling your prowl to? Are you I just going to like sell it? Whoever wants it. Or, are you going to like go to TFCon and have like a bin full of like siege figures and be like, yeah, just be not, like open siege TFCon, figures, TFCon. half price. Here you go. TF, people TFX, have been them. People will take them. They'd be fine with that. So please. No, I just, I have a prowl already. So never going to get rid of my MP prowl. He's so cool. Pretty cool. I like him. So, yeah, that's our recommendations, all right? There we go. All right. Oh, Good see, team. Randall said that I get my own Thursday show. <laughs> there you go. To so talk about old figures. I just want to talk about Calculation Keen, like, every week. <laughs> It'll just be Calculation Keen. A Anna could have her own, like, knockoff show and just talk about a bunch yeah, of Yeah, that's right. So... It's not a knockoff. It is an original design. I just got it because now it's on air. Ha, huh, record. Wow. Calculation key that's made an appearance on microcasters. Cut it, cut it, Lucas. We got to get it out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, with that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, all right. Well, uh, check out Ash My Wallet tomorrow night. Um, and uh, check out Cut the Tape on Fridays and then uh, we'll be live again this weekend. I actually think we'll be I'm trying to think like I think we'll probably be live for a while like I don't I don't think uh, that we have anything that's preclude us from from going live on TFYLP so yeah uh, check us out Maybe noon on the Sunday. Con. The con might make it tricky. Uh, we'll figure <laughs> out a way. What are you doing? Several of noon? us will be there. Noon on Sunday at TFCon. Going to Sleeping? Aaron Archer's workshop. Oh, is Aaron Archer's workshop at that time? I need to I need to look if they sell tickets for that. I do too. Oh well, there you go. All right. Well, uh, with that, I guess uh, that's <laughs> that's it. So uh, again, uh, I guess that's it. So. Hi, thanks for joining us.